Okay, so <clears throat> on as I meant on Thursday, I had an appointment with a psychologist to uh, get approval for sex reassignment surgery, and she gave the go ahead, which is really really awesome. So, so yeah, this was an appointment. If you didn't see the other video, this was an appointment at the uh, Kaiser uh, Transgender Clinic in in Oakland, California, and. And so the next step, <clears throat> I have a, an appointment where I'm going to be meeting up with a couple of other mental health professionals and this uh, same psychologist that I saw might be one of them. And I'm also going to be meeting up with the surgeon who's going to perform the surgery. <clears throat> Kaiser, <clears throat> Kaiser has their own surgeon now that performs the surgery, which which is pretty cool because that means that Kaiser will actually pay for the surgery, which is great, because this is really the only way I, I'd be able to get it, because otherwise, I cannot afford it, so, so that's really awesome, <coughs> and there, let's see, and then they are also offering a class where <coughs> They uh, talk about, you know, the surgery and what to expect and the aftercare and all of that. And so I'm going to be attending that and hopefully my mom will be coming with me. I sent her an email about the fact that I'd gotten approval for sex reassignment surgery because I hadn't even told her that this is something I was planning on doing. And so she definitely wasn't, you know, thrilled, but... She's, but she's being supportive, at least, you know, she says she's supportive, so right now she is out of town, but hopefully when, once she gets back and we actually sit down and have a discussion, um, I definitely hope that she really is going to be supportive, because I will need somebody to, to do some amount of caregiving after the surgery. You know, I'll, I'll need her to give me a ride to and from San Francisco, and and then, you know, help take care of me for some period after the surgery. Hopefully, there's not going to be a whole lot she's going to have to do for a while, but... But, yeah, and... Yeah, the recovery is definitely going to kind of suck, especially since I don't drive, so... I, I get around by riding my bike or... And, t and then taking the bus, or... Or I get a ride from somebody, so... It's good. So hopefully I won't be unable to ride my bike for for too long because that would suck. So um yeah, I guess that's I guess that's that's largely it. I'm just I'm just really kind of amazed that this is all happening. You know, because there was a time when I had just decided against sex reassignment surgery because I figured there's no way I'd be able to ever be able to afford it. So I I figured this was something I was never going to have. And it's just, it's just, it's really awesome that this is actually something that's going to happen. At this point, I can't think of any reason they would say no. The only possible issue might be my weight because I still have a little more weight to lose, but I'm working on that. But aside from some extra weight, my health is actually in really good shape. It's probably the best it's been in my whole life, so that's good. So yeah, it's it's going to be definitely very awesome. And once I have that uh, other appointment on the 7th, I will go ahead and make another video. And I will definitely try to keep making videos as I go on through the process, especially right after I've gotten the surgery because... I think that'll be useful to other people looking into getting the surgery so they can um, yeah so they can get some ideas of what they're getting themselves into I've already looked at some videos you know from people who have gotten it done and getting their perspectives and everything has been really helpful so if I can add myself to the equation and help some people in that respect that would be pretty cool and yeah, I guess that's it.